Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you the, the last tool I have been uh, working on. It's uh, this one. It's uh, rotate uh, geometries. So the main point of this uh, of this tool is that you can create uh, circular patterns, uh, and also if you need to rotate something, it might be uh, it might be useful. So currently it works with uh, all the different curves, but the uh, bispline. Uh, there's something I, yeah, I'm missing. I cannot get it to work with this plane. And uh, so the idea yeah, is, is that you create your shapes. Maybe let's say we want these kind of shapes here. And you want a circular pattern of this. So you start the tool. Then you have to select uh, the center of uh, rotation. So let's say we click here. And then uh, we need to select uh, the... Um, like the start angle and the end angle. So the idea is that, um, and you can also here apply the total angle and the number of copy here. So let's click here a first time. So you see here number of copy is a zero. So it deletes the originals and create a new uh, a new um, a new version. And then you can add several copies. So maybe like, let, let's say three copies. And you can make, a, as you see, a circular pattern. And you can put more also and uh, it will update accordingly. And then you click and it, uh, it uh, creates the geometries. So it's very nice to make some patterns uh, like, uh, let me see, I have here, yeah. Uh, that's a picture of um, of a speaker grid that I had to design recently and to make this kind of uh, uh, circular patterns where you have holes uh, aligned like this it was very painful to make uh, without this tool it, it took like one hour just drawing construction lines one by one and then doing uh, manually it was very very painful so this tool is very nice because it lets you do this kind of stuff instantly and so yeah that's pretty much it uh, and um, and now just a quick word for um, for FreeCAD uh, developers because this tool has a, a slight issue uh, currently and it needs uh, debugging so I I took the opportunity of this video to ask you about it. Uh, there is something strange which happens when there is a lot of uh, geometries. Uh, well, the first thing is that it gets laggy, but more than that, at some point it can just crash if like, you make random movements and for no reason, I'm not sure why, but it just ends up crashing. So, yeah, of course now it's not crashing because I want it to crash, obviously. Ah, there it goes. You see, it just freeze, and and freak freak out dies. So I think that might be because of the way of uh, how I'm uh, currently um, um, dealing with this uh, with this um, question. Uh, as you can see, the idea is that uh, here we are in the draw sketch handler of uh, this tool. Um, draw sketch handler rotate and the idea is that on the mouse move uh, so when we are at the third step when we already selected the angle uh, the, the the first uh, line uh, on every single um, mouse move I'm currently uh, generating the um, geometries so that means that if the preview is enabled, you can also disable the preview and to avoid any any issue. But if the preview is enabled and as you as we seen before, the geometry actually are created and then deleted um, every time. And I think that might be like the large number of inserts and removal of um, geometries that create this issue. So if we go down to this uh, generate rotate uh, geo functions, you can see that the core idea is that uh, I use this, which restart actually the, the Python command. So restart command is basically aborting the current, um, the current um, command and uh, which 
actually deletes all the geometries that we created just before. Uh, and then it just solves the sketch again and it opens back a new command. So it opens back a new command here. And then the idea here is that it, it actually creates one by one all the geometries and it commits them with the uh, do command. But it doesn't commit uh, the command. It just call do command and, uh, and create the list of uh, geometries. So you see on each step it, it does that. And so I was thinking that maybe that's why it's, cr it's crashing. Uh, and, and I thought, okay, maybe it would be best not to uh, delete and recreate the geometries every time, but just create them once and then just move them on every mouse move. So, so the idea here, I uh, implemented a if that is currently not uh, not working because so I uh, commented out. But the idea is that if the geometries need to be updated, so basically if you change the number of copies that you need, it will relaunch uh, the tool that uh, like. Uh, and delete everything and creates back everything which is currently happening and if it doesn't need to recreate the geometries then it it would call this function rotate geometries um, and uh, this con uh, this function is right here and the idea of this function was to uh, just um, go uh, through all the geometries one by one and uh, use a mouse move a move point sorry function um, which is a, a sketch object uh, function that I found and which is used uh, in um, in uh, dragging points and dragging uh, lines and so you see here um, I tried uh, object move point and I also tried object move temporary point and with move point it was actually very very slow uh, and um, yeah it was much slower than just deleting and recreating the the geometries so it felt like not a good idea and move temporary point I'm not sure what is the point of uh, of this uh, of this tool but I, I tried it anyway and I couldn't get it to work so yeah, so if you know how uh, those function works and what would be the best way to move around the geometries um, by because we can just calculate the rotation rotated point like the updated uh, new point let's say and so we just need something like this function move point and um, yeah so if you have any ID uh, and if you know if it's actually better to delete all the geometries and create new ones is if it's faster and maybe if you have an idea why it's crashing uh, don't hesitate to uh, to come on the forum and, um, and leave a comment well thanks for watching that's pretty much it for today and uh, I hope you enjoyed it